Hi, this is Captain Al Lorenzetti for The Fisherman. I'm going to show you how to tie my favorite fluke rig. The regulations the way they are today, you're going to be throwing back lots of fluke. Most fish are going to be undersized, have to go back. When you fish them with a J-hook, very often the hook gets down the throat of the fluke and it's either cut the leader and tie a new rig or rip it out of the fish, try to extract it, and you're going to damage the fish and they're going to die. So I switched to circle hooks. Most people didn't think they would work on fluke, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try and it worked beautifully. So uh, we're targeting smaller fish, hoping for the big one. This rig that I'm about to show you will catch the little ones and will catch the big ones too, and everything that has to be released can be released and will not be injured. The basic components of my favorite fluke rig consist of a bucktail, in this case I'm using a spro, a 2 aught circle hook, which is, in this case, eagle claw, and a three-way swivel. Right. Basically that's all you need. For convenience sake you might want to use a dual lock snap to attach the bucktail to the rig to give it weight to get it to the bottom. Alright, to begin tying this rig, once you have your basic components, uh, I like to use fluorocarbon line. Uh, inshore, I like to use 25 pound test, and offshore, I use, like to use 40 or 50 pound test. Uh, again, when you're going to fish in deeper water for bigger fish, uh, I kind of step everything up, beef it all up. But we'll do the inshore version 25 pound test fluorocarbon, 2 watt circle hook. First thing I do is tie a snell, and I begin with like two pieces of fluorocarbon, a one foot length and a two foot length. The one foot length is going to be for the bucktail drop and the two foot length is going to be for the hook, for the circle hook. I have my snell, right? my hook is snelled. Then I take my one foot drop, which is going to be the component that I will attach my bucktail to. I tie that to my three way. Again, a simple clinch knot, three wraps through the opening, through the other opening, tighten it up. Next step is to attach the dual lock snap. Same way, a little clinch knot. You can use different knots if you prefer. Clinch knots always held well for me. Trilene knot is also excellent. Two wraps through the eyes. Now we're ready just to trim off the excess after I've done all my knot tying. When I do clip these ends, I don't clip them very, very tight. Leave a little bit in case there's a little slippage in the knot. It's not going to pull through. Clean everything up even on my snell, the excess, all right, my basic rig is tied, the only thing we have to add now is a bucktail onto the dual lock, all right, attach any bucktail size that you want, and on the business end of the trailing hook, I like to use gulp. Berkeley Gulp, my favorite is the four inch mullet in chartreuse. I simply take the point, thread it through, bring it out the back of the mullet. So I have a four inch chartreuse mullet up on my one foot high hook off the three way and a bucktail down on the bottom for weight. I also put a gulp on the bucktail. So I'm fishing bucktail with gulp, higher trailing hook with just plain gulp, and I jig that along the bottom, and it's dynamite. And you will catch fluke. What you have to remember, a circle hook, you get that little bite, don't lift up immediately. You get the bite, just kind of give it just a second, a fraction of a second. Sharp little lift, and the fish is hooked.